This is a tutorial by JimmyR.com and I'll be teaching you how to remove ads permanently from your computer so that you never have to see a MySpace, uh, YouTube, or any other type of ad again. It's going to remove ads by Google Ads, by Yahoo, Overture, Shopping.com, and all kinds of other ad types. You'll be wondering why you didn't do it before because it only takes one or two minutes to do. Now here I am in YouTube and uh, I'm going to click videos and here I have a massive banner ad uh, why does Cupid always visit on bad hair days <laughs> dump okay and uh, I guess I'll go to one of my friends myspace pages and notice there's a massive banner ad at the top oh my god I hate my space music okay um, Okay, so I'm going to show you how to remove those ads. By this video, I've added a link. Uh, just go to the right side of the video and click more, and you'll see a link. Just click that link, and it's going to point, going to point to this file, host.zip. It's small, 500k file. It's very very tiny, but it has 14,509. Uh, advertisers that it redirects to a blank page so this thing is quite massive it uh, redirects all the advertising on the internet to a blank page and if there's nothing if there's something that it doesn't redirect you can add it here fast click Google Ads Yahoo Ads Overture anything okay this is the host file once you unzip it you can unzip it by uh, I guess going to open if you're on XP and extract all files or you can use WinRAR, WinZip, or 7ZZip. I really like 7ZZip. It's free. But anyway, once you have it extracted, uh, this is the actual host file, and this file just installs it to the proper directory. This file goes in different uh, directory files depending on your Windows version. So just run this bat file. It's going to say uh, your host file is going to be updated. Just click Enter. And in my case, it installed this file to here, uh, Windows System 32 drivers slash etc. Right here is the file. I'm going to give you a peek into the host file just to show there's nothing malicious in it, and it really is just a whole bunch of advertisers. Okay, here I have the host file, and if you'll notice, it's just tons and tons of advertisers. And what it does is it relocates all these URLs on the right to 127.0.0.1 which is just a blank page unless you have Apache installed but it's basically a blank page so you never have to watch any of these ads again I'm going to close this Oops. Um, okay I don't want you to call it text or else it won't work so I'm just gonna rename it back to host and to activate it either restart your computer or if you're on XP, there's this uh, program called services.smc. Just go to start run services.msc, sorry. And it's going to open this massive thing. I've resized it. And uh, in the list, it's going to have a DNS client under D, right? All you have to do is restart the DNS client and it activates all these uh, these redirections. So now the DNS is activated, and I can close everything, and it should, in a few minutes, uh, automatically remove all ads. Now it's going to take about, I don't know, a minute for the DNS service to come back, and I guess to cache the URL or something. So I'll tell you how to install this on Linux if you have a Linux mm -hmm. computer. If you have a Linux computer, again, you just download the file, the host.zip and you don't use this, this is a Windows batch file it has absolutely nothing to do with Linux and uh, just go to uh, go to the file go to the command line and use unzip host.zip to unzip the file and then copy the host file onto your etc slash hosts uh, into your etc etc directory and uh, into the host. It's going to ask you if you want to re uh, override it and it just say yes. If you want to, you can save the old host files. Copy etc slash hosts onto etc slash hosts back. 
just in case. Okay. So let's see if Google is up. No, nope, not yet. Like I said, it's going to take about a minute. But the minute it's definitely worth removing all the disgusting ads. Because I think every university, every uh, school should be able to do this. Okay, Google now. It finally loaded. It didn't take long that long. Okay, and I'll back to the videos and the most viewed list. And if the banner's still there, the banner is gone. And if I click it, there's an ad at the top. Ad is all. Now I'm going to go to my friend's MySpace page. And hold it there. No ad. Okay. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Share it with friends. This is a really useful trick. It doesn't take long at all. And it doesn't require a lot of technical experience to execute. You just need an unzipper. And that's it. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. This is again Jimmy R. This is again a tutorial from JimmyR.com. This is Jimmy Ruska. Thanks for listening.